go for it. Shalaykum. Good to see you. Shivy. It's been at least, what, two minutes? <laughs> Shivy Dor from Givot Winery. I'm Yo Shurth, live at the Grapevine. This is the Kosher Wine Review. And what is Givot? Where did the name come from? How did you get the idea to start a working and making wines? Actually, it started by planting vineyards. We, uh, we wanted to work the soil to put back the vines where they should have been for many years. And we were banned from this land, so now we're coming back. Beautiful. So we started by planting vines. And then we saw that they are so good, we did not want to do anything but wine out of them. And we produced our first wines in 2005 and went up and up from there. This is the 2010 Cabernet Sauvignon Reserve. 95% Cabernet Sauvignon, 5% Petit Verdot, 16 months in oak barrels, which when people usually leave off, whether it's French or American, it's either a blend of them or some use, some old kind of thing. You're playing with things Mostly a little bit. French, mostly French and mostly new. 3,000 bottles made. Yeah, it's a very small but There's 2,999 left for you to find now after we drink this entire bottle. I'm kidding. So let's smell the wine. Okay, so this is... It's interesting. It's not jammy, per se, like a California big power cult Cabernet. I've tasted a lot of those when I was growing up. But if you took a um, fresh cut piece of wood, let it air out for a day, so the, the moisture is gone from it, and you spread the, 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 uh, a nice uh, jam, but a subdued one, not a sugary one, across that wood. That is kind of like the, the smell you're getting, whereas the fruit is the power and the wood is the, is the underlying of the sandwich, I like to call it. Right, and it does have some, a bit of floral. Some herbs. Herbs and floral uh, kinds of things. This is what we are looking for in our reserve. It's like not just the fruit, it's something more. Okay, right. So you're walking through this forest, here's your trees. Floral herbs and light flowers, not heavy, not not no. not. It's not orchids or anything like that. And you're smelling it mingling. And no, they don't dump that all these different things into the wine to make it smell like that. This is the evolution of the winemaker and terroir and the soil and the grapes and the wood all working together is what you're smelling is the finish of that union. We're um, we're not cheating. We said a bracha already. <laughs> Mm. This is more fruity, more giving, um, more standalone. 